It's a miracle being a first generation student. However, it is very stressful, but with the support that I have here on campus and around me, makes it a lot better. It all started uh, March 13th of 2018. Uh, I came here and did a tour and it was awesome. Uh, during the time I had done the tour, I had met people through the Multicultural Center, Disability Services and TRIO, and they made me feel very welcome. If it wasn't for Ms. Krishanda, if it wasn't for her, uh, I wouldn't be where I am today, along with the others too, Nate, Ms. Terry, all of them. Uh, during that time of the Summer Bridge program, they helped us become organized, how to adjust to the real college life. And if it wasn't for that program, me and other students would not be here at all. Uh, I will say a lot of my peers, they call me the walking history book. So if you, <laughs> if you ask me something, I'm like, oh, this happened in this time. So, you know, uh, developing those, those programs for Black History Month and becoming a leader definitely helped a lot. Uh, it definitely helps our uh, department as well when it comes to educating people that are not of color and other cultures too, because now they're more mindful about, you know, the importance of black history instead of it just being a month. And my number one cheerleader was my grandmother on my mother's side. Uh, sadly, she passed away from breast cancer in 2019. I carry not only her words, but I carry her rings and of course her necklace as well. So my grandmother was Catholic and so she was, um, she was heavily in the church. And so I carry that with me every day, you know, um, surround yourself with good people, people that are going to support you no matter what, and keep going. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let it, because at the end of the day, you are here for a purpose.